welcome to my channel in this video we are going to analyze the beam using the slope deflection method with the support settlement so in this e and i value they have given and like this they have given let's start in this question they have given the b support is sinking so the geometry will be something like this so your left side and your right side whenever your right side support is sinking we assume it as negative when left side support is sinking we assume it as positive so your step number one step one is find out all the fixed end moments uh, so for UTL and the point load we have written the formula so like this this all values will come so this part I have written positive negative so the left side we are considering positive negative so I have written like that all the values uh, so for a b we will be considering as negative because whenever your right hand side support is sinking we have to consider it as negative otherwise positive starting with step number two so we'll be writing all the slope deflection equations so slope deflection equation are like this for all the members and for this we will be checking all the length and ei values so no ei value different they have given all the ei are sim, uh, same so length whatever length is given like four six two we will be substituting there only so that chances of mistakes are less so for a b i and the length length is four we will be writing like that then for b c the i and the length length is your six like that i will be writing in addition here only we will be writing the amount of deflection we are getting so for ab panel it is negative 0 0.001 and for bc panel it is positive 0 0.001 so here only we are writing those values so the chances of mistakes are less next step is step number three in which we'll be identifying the compatibility equations or equilibrium equations so uh, to solve the unknowns we should have additional compatibility equations so in this one we have theta a theta b theta c and theta d in which your theta b and theta c we have to calculate so two unknowns we should have two compatibility equations so in this compatibility equations at a support left side moment and right side moment it has to be equal to zero so two unknowns and two compatibility equation we can solve so next we'll be substituting all the fixed end moments and your deflection into the equation so for b a b c we have fixed end moments and length is your four and theta a is 0 and we will be just substituting the value of deflection into the equation for bc we have fixed end moments length is your 6 and deflection value we will be substituting and finally we will be getting this equation for for cb and cd we will be writing the equation for cb fixed end moment length and the deflection value is positive will be substituting for cd it is positive 40 will be substituting that we are solving it and we are substituting the value of ei and will be finding out the, the values next we'll be solving it and will be further uh, solving and finding out the value of theta b in terms of theta c so that we can substitute here so uh, after doing this we'll be substituting the value of theta b in the equation given below next what we have done we have solved the c b and c d so we have substituted the fixed end moment and the length and the ei value into the equation and the value of the delta and we have simply calculated and find out the value of uh, theta c and theta b so here we are next is we have fixed end moments we have our slopes now we will be substituting in the slope deflection equation with the delta and finding out the final moments here we got the final moments so we have to check that left side and right side has to be equal and opposite and like that we have to make the bending moment diagram thank you for watching